I'm joined with Sean O'Brien, our town treasurer. Sean, thanks for uh, coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, Mark. Yeah, we're, we're trying to meet new people and new faces around Town Hall. And when did you start? Uh, it seems like a lifetime ago, but it was uh, um, in October of uh, 2020. So um, wow. took over for uh, Steve and um, then transitioned from there. So That's interesting, 2020, because I, I thought it was much less... I didn't realize you've been here. Yeah, a little over a year or yeah. so. Well, that's great. Yeah. So um, were there adjustments made for the height of the doorways when you walked in? I mean, um, yeah, I just, I just kind of dock and, you know. <laughs> How does it feel to be at least the tallest employee in town? That must be. A lot of pressure, you know. <laughs> Thinner air, you know. <laughs> that's interesting. Um, some people, you know, you don't normally bring up somebody's, uh, if they're short in stature or if they're overweight or anything but, but for some reason <laughs> some reason nobody has a problem with tall people no does it offend you at all uh, we should yeah we should be ripped on like everyone else you <laughs> <laughs> They'll probably not make the cut oh, <laughs> well that's good so um tell us about yourself where do you come from where'd you grow up yeah so i grew up in rentham mass which is on uh rhode island border um where all the outlets are well, yeah yeah everyone, everyone knows where rentham is yeah so you, that used to not be the case, but, uh, and then uh, uh, like went to school nearby and then uh, went to Assumption for undergrad and Suffolk for uh, my grad degree in public administration. So hmm. um, and then from there, uh, worked in Concord and uh, budget and finance office and then uh, Natick as the assistant finance director and now in Littleton, so. Right. Now, is this something you've always been good at, numbers? Uh, it depends on the day and who you ask, but yeah, no, I, I think the part of the job that's good is blending the numbers with what you're trying to accomplish and relating that to, you know, various audiences and, um, ultimately trying to get, do a good job and leave the spot in a, in a good place. So. Right. Right. Um, tell us a little bit about you, uh, personally, like as far as, um, are you married? Yeah, still. Uh -huh. Still married, good, <laughs> great. Hopefully no, your wife will watch this. Oh, yep, I told her not to <laughs> tune in, but uh, yeah. No, so yeah, I got uh, Anna, um, and then we, we've been together for, for a while now, and um, we got two little guys, so Owen and Connor, so they're keeping me up, so. Yeah, <laughs> and where do you live now? So I live in Hopkinton, right in the center of town, so. Okay. Uh, it's pretty good. It was good about spot. a 20 minute ride from here? Yeah, traffic isn't too bad. It's. 495 straight shot pretty good so yeah I, 495 can be tough yeah you know yeah. you never know what you're going to get on 495 some days it's like an hour and then others it's like 25 minutes right. so have you learned some of the back ways and alleyways to get home in case yeah i've gone i've gone the harvard route and backdoored that one a few times but haven't had to you know knock mm. on <laughs> yeah. haven't had to do that too often so what's your experience been like in littleton so far um, it's been good. It's kind of a crash course in everything, but, uh, we got a lot of good people here and a great team. So that really helps. Um, and obviously the town's taking on a lot. So it's learning on the fly and then trying to do a decent job and have everyone in a good spot. So. Well, I've heard good things about the job that you're doing. So thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> you're the one. <laughs> um, and the other thing I just wanted to know is, as far as the some people may know, want to know as the town treasurer, how's the outlook look for Littleton in the you know not only the coming year but fiscal year, but you know maybe five year forecast. How are things looking financially? Yeah, so um, it's a good question. We have we kind of look ahead for a few years and tend to budget conservatively. So Alicia and I really kind of go through that and make sure that we're in a sustainable spot going forward. So as part of the, you know, you know, outlook for the next three to five years, um, we think we're gonna be in a good spot. It's just a matter of, you know, being proactive on some spots where we're gonna need support and then also recognizing, you know, the capital projects that are coming down the pipeline, like, you know, sewer and, you know, senior center and things like that. So all planning ahead on that and mm -hmm. hopefully everything goes well and we're in a good spot going forward. Excellent. We still have a rainy day fund in case, uh, you know, the pipes break? Yeah, we, we still do. Hopefully no more pipes break because that's, you know, <laughs> adding up. But, Metaphorically speaking. But yeah. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, we still have, uh, we're in compliance with all our financial policies and have uh, significant fund balance that if something does happen that we do have the resources to, you know, overcome that. Right. You know, so. Now, um, I know that I do video production and when I go home, I'm often the guy who has to run the cameras at the birthday parties and stuff. Oh, yeah. Do you do the budgeting in your own home? Or? Uh, I, I try to get a break from it, but yeah. Uh, yeah, so I give all the hard ones to my wife on that, so. <laughs> Is she uh, good with numbers too? Uh, yeah, she works in uh, healthcare, tech slash data, so all that uh, stuff. So um, she has a little different form of budgeting on the corporate side, but uh, we meet in the middle and make it happen. So. Now I can see, you know, sometimes when parents have the same interest and they get together for game night, you know, do you guys play word, you know, math games with your kids? Is that how you oh, yeah. have? <laughs> we, we try to play like, you know, go to bed, you know, on time. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, and don't uh, don't make a mess. So. Yeah, those are those good are games. The, those are the games, but no, with that. Uh, kind of like the quiet game. You remember that? Did your dad ever pull that on you? <laughs> yeah. Long, Let's play the quiet game yeah. in the car is one way to say, <laughs> how long can we get them to be quiet? Yeah, it's keeping the peace. So. Yeah because uh, Owen's almost three, so he's, you know, we'll play with the Legos and stuff like that, and Connor's just learning to climb on things, so we're kind of playing defense on him while he's tripping over himself, yeah. so. <laughs> well, enjoy it while it lasts, because, you know, I have six kids. Oh, yeah. They grow up fast, and as you know, it's just, these times are pretty special. When oh, yeah. Young. Special with no sleep. Yeah, that, <laughs> well, that's special, but one of the special things about it, but. You'll, you'll have plenty of time to sleep. You sleep a third of your life away, so yep. they say. So Not at work, though. No, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's good. Final question. Um, this show airs in March, and um, St. Patrick's Day is in March. Oh, do, boy. It, now, you guys do it up right at the O'Brien uh, home? Maybe in my 20s, but uh, kind of tamed down a little bit. <laughs> I see. see. <laughs> so. All right, so we, we'll expect to see you on the 18th here I'll, at work. I'll be here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how much good he'll be, but he'll be here. <laughs> Well, Sean, thanks a lot just yeah. for sitting down for a moment Definitely. let everybody see your face. And yeah. I'm sure, as Alicia said, that if people have questions for you, they can, you know, your door is always open. Maybe yours isn't, but... Yeah. Just not the hard questions. And That's right. Awesome. If you have an easy question, his door is always open. Yep, absolutely. Great. Well, thanks a lot for joining yeah. me. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. All right.